What's up guys, Sean here. So today we've got the DJI Mavic Pro. And I know what you guys are thinking, what, is this 2017? No, this is 2020. But the reason I bought this drone is that Insta360 just came out with the One R. And the One R has an aerial mode, which is a bracket that goes over the entire drone, puts half the 360 camera up here and half of the 360 camera down here. So I'm super excited to try that out. Um, GPS is messed up on the DJI Mavic Pro 2. Um, the camera interferes with the GPS, and I don't really want to fly a drone without GPS. Um, but according to the website, um, GPS on the DJI Mavic Pro works fine. So we are going to, so that's why I bought this over the weekend. Um, I'd forgotten how much fun this drone is. Um, but yeah, so today we're going to fly it around. Let's do it. Says we're ready to go, so let's get it off the ground. I forgot you have to focus this one, but I probably should focus after I'm off the ground because if I focus on the ground right there, it's kind of silly. But I'm just excited and I'm just gonna do a little, little video with my drone today. I haven't done a drone video in a while, so let's have some fun. Uh, let's knock this out before remote ID becomes a thing. <laughs> so let's do it, guys. It's pretty windy, so. Woo! There it is, guys. Oh, it's fighting the wind a little bit. So we'll focus out there. Hit record. Oh. Let's do it, guys. Man, I forgot how fast this drone is. That's beautiful, guys. So excited. How high are we? We good? All right, so I'm getting a downward vision sensor is out. 
But that's okay, I never really used downward vision anyway. So just don't go down into trees and stuff. But so far, the, it flies great. See where we add on the battery. Still got 19, 19 minutes left on the battery. Doing good. All right, so we've done a bunch of flying with the camera at that angle. So now let's put it down and do some straight down flying. Man, I forgot how zippy the Mavic Pro is. I gotta be careful. I gotta keep my eye on this bird. And I'm looking right at the sun, so I probably should have worn sunglasses. Now, as you'll notice, I'm at the ballpark and it's, I'm surrounded by poles and trees and buildings and fences, really, really high fences. But as long as you get up high enough, you can fly wherever you want to because there's nothing up there. Right now it's a little dot in the sky, but since I know where it's at, I'm keeping full line of sight. So I don't have to worry if some random bird is gonna hit it or you know, I'm gonna hit a helicopter or something because I'm flying safe. Um, I'm flying in line of sight and I'm having all kinds of fun, guys. Let's see, we're over the parking lot. Now that tree's in my way. All right, so let's Come back up. We're going to point where I'm at. We're going to come back to me. So basically what I'm doing today, guys, is I'm testing the camera just to see if we've got, you know, all the, all the functionality of the drone are, is working. All right, so I lost my drone, so now I'm going to find it. Yep, I lost it. So we're going to point down. So I know where I'm at. So I'm gonna point the drone over to where I'm at. And then I'm gonna fly back. Oh, there it is, I'm right there. So we've got some pretty good, pretty good flights at about 255 feet up in the air. Um, it's definitely a safe height for the ballpark. Um, so yeah, um, this is one of my favorite shots of the ballpark. So I'm gonna back up. Man, I love how fast that is. And then I'm gonna zoom in, or I'm gonna, I can't zoom in, but I'm gonna go forward. And I'm just gonna fly over the red roof. It's my favorite part of this park is those red tin roofs, right guys? And I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing. We'll bring the camera over here. I'm flying over this building right here. So you see the, red, the building behind me? That's what I'm flying over. Such a cool shot, guys. All right. So we've got about 14 minutes left on the battery. 
What should we do? I've got some downward shots. Um, camera's doing something weird. Not sure. All right, we're gonna fly into the distance, but I want the autofocus to be down there. We're gonna turn it around. We're gonna go towards this mountain right here. We're gonna go kind of slow. So it says I've got a warning but the only warning I have is a downward facing sensor. So what that means is the, uh, if I'm coming down on a tree, um, it won't stop the drone from hitting the tree. But that's okay because I've got line of sight and I'm, I'm not worried about hitting anything because I've flown drones for a couple years now and uh, I've only had two crashes and that was when I let the app take over. So. Well, starting out, I hit a tree. But in my professional YouTube career, I've only had two crashes. All right, that's a pretty good shot. I've got great GPS. I've got great connection. Doing good, guys. All right. Now I'm going to turn it this way and go in that direction. It's been a while since I've flown a drone out here at the ballpark. I miss it. All right. So now we're going to turn it. So it starts coming in this direction. I don't want to get it too far out there just in case it wrecks. I want to be pretty close. But so far this, this drone is acting like a champ. Um, so it might not land very well if, this, if the downward facing sensor is messed up, so we'll see. I think I'm gonna land it in the grass, just in case. Um, we've got about 11 minutes left. Let's see what time it is. Um, I think I'm gonna bring it back in. So we're gonna face the ballpark. I think that's that's direction. Here we go, we're coming in, we're coming in. I've landed here many a times. So, whoa, whoa! <laughs> we're gonna bring it over here. We're gonna bring it down a little bit. What's a little too close to that pole? What? <laughs> oh, I miss it. Okay. So now we're going to bring it down to about this level. And then I'm going to bring it in. It's coming in fast, guys. I wonder if I got sport mode on. I do have sport mode on. <laughs> All right, we're landing in sport mode. All right. All right, so we're gonna bring it in over here. That's it, guys. Oh, front-facing sensor's working. All right, well, we're just gonna land right there.
All right. We're going to stop recording. All right, so I flew it around. Um, there's something wrong with the vision sensor underneath, but the only thing that that affects is inside flight, um, and it keeps it from drifting from side to side if it's low to the ground um, or if it loses GPS, okay? Um, but vision sensor has to see the ground in order to um, be affected. So also, if you're coming down on a tree, it would mess that up too. But overall, had a super exciting, stupendous, wonderful, amazing flight. Um, and yeah, hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, click on the bell for notifications of when I put out more videos about drones, action cameras, live streaming, um, smart home stuff, you know, all the good stuff. So yeah, have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.